Hey everyone, Wheels here. The stream for this game didn't start till the bottom of the second, and Vandy scored two runs in the first on a home run by Dominic Keegan, which you can see on screen from the Vandy Boys Twitter account. Similar to their midweek game against Western Kentucky, this one didn't have a score bug, so I added my own in on screen. Alright, enjoy the game highlights starting from the bottom of the second inning with Vanderbilt leading Georgia State 2-0. 3-2 now. Outside, he walked him. A good at-bat by C.J. Rodriguez. That was something that one factor. The 2-0 pitch very high and away. A fastball that gets away off the glove of Goldman. And out to second goes Rodriguez. The old pitch will look at second. Here it is. And it's up high for a ball and a four-pitch walk to Tate Colwick. And the Commodores have it brewing now here in the second. Two on with nobody out. Bradford squaring already, very early. And the pitch, he does bunt. It's up along the third base line. Glove by Clark, has to hurry, throw to first, not in time. Bradford legs out a bunt single. Started as a sacrifice attempt and ended as a base hit. And the next offering. Swung on, hit high in the air, out to deep center. This will at least get in one. Back is Rieselman in front of the track. The left-handed outfielder makes the catch. Here comes Rodriguez tagging and scoring. The other runners also tag. Into second with a head-first slide is Bradford safely. Colwick gets to third, and the Commodores take a 3-0 lead. A sacrifice fly to deep center field by Jason Gonzalez. The season stopped. There's a fastball on the way. It's upstairs, ball four. And Bolger draws a four-pitch walk. And now they're loaded again. Landry is ready. The pitch swung on, lofted out to center. Rieselman's got it measured. It'll bring in a run. Rieselman under it, makes the catch in left center. Fires towards second. Tagging to third is Bradford. Colwick comes in to score. And now it's a 4-0 lead. A sacrifice fly for Carter Young. He picks up his second RBI of the season. Now the 2-1 pitch. And that one is swung on, laced in the air to left center. Rieselman back in the alley. He's got room, and he makes the catch. Keegan with a rocket, but it's gloved out in left center, and that will end the inning. Laboki's 3-2 reply. Swung on, hit high in the air to left. Back is Bolger. Back toward the track. He looks up, and that ball is gone. A home run for D'Angelo Abood on a 3-2 off-speed pitch. He hits it out over the monster in left. And the Panthers get on the board. Their first base runner of the day is a solo homer by Abood in the third, and it's 4-1. to one. Oh, it was an off-speed pitch. It looked like it had some break on it. Here's a ground ball in the center, a base hit. Will Mize with a leadoff single, and it'll bring up Griffin. He comes back with the off-speed here. The 1-2 swung on and missed strike three. Went up again with that fastball at 90, and that's his fifth strikeout today. The payoff pitch now. Runner goes. Swung on, lined into left, a base hit. Bolger plays it back in. Big turn at second by Mize. He overruns it, gets back. Bolger tried to throw there, and Colwick had to dive to take that toss. Commodores tried to throw behind the runner on a big roundabout there at second base in the area where Thomas was. 2-1 pitch. Bunted on the ground to third. Charging Gonzalez. He bare hands. He's got no throw. A bunt single by Josh Smith. And now the bases are loaded with one away. Jeff wouldn't mind seeing that. The 3-2 on the outside corner, strike three called. He went off speed. Move him away off the plate. Here's the 2-2, swung on and missed strike three. Slider sits down Rieselman. And after it got dicey in the fourth, Laboki shuts the door. One of the two games. The 3-2 taken high, ball four. And a leadoff walk for Bradfield. It brings up Gonzalez. And the pitch on the way. Taken for strike three called. He just got the inside corner at 90 miles an hour. And he fires a fastball that hits Puckett in the back. So a two-out hit batsman. Now from the belt, the 0-1. Runner starts, stops. There's a strike. The throw out to second gets away. Holding at second is Puckett on a stolen base. Now the runner going, an early start by Puckett. The throw to third, he is out by a mile. He must have been guessing. He just took off, and McIlvain had not broken yet. So Gets David Price back this year. They're going to be even more loaded than they were. Here's a liner into left center, a base hit. And Keegan continues to see it well. He made an out in the second on a laser beam to center field, so now he's two for three. 
Here's the 1-0. Swung on line to second, caught by a booty, throws to first, and they double off Keegan. Now that was a frozen rope right at the second baseman of Bood, and Keegan just got caught. What a coach means when they say that. Here's a swing and a ground ball to short, taken by Young. His throw to first is in time, and it's a one, two, three, first, uh, uh, rather sixth inning, I should say. For and a payoff pitch now. Rodriguez lines a base hit to right. He went the other way with it on a hop. The right fielder Pearson throws to first, and Rodriguez barrels into Marejo who was trying to reach for a wide throw from the right fielder. The 1-0. Swung on line into left, a base hit down toward the corner. Smith goes to play it off the barrier. It gets away from him momentarily. Rodriguez to third, into second, Gonzalez with a double. Next one by Acosta. Swung on line to left, well hit. Smith, though, is there to make the catch. Bolger hit a bullet out to left. But it's right at Commodores. One run on four hits for Georgia State. That fastball is up and in, ball four. So a four-pitch walk by McIlvain to begin the seventh inning. The stretch by McIlvain. The pitch, that's butted on the ground at third. Tough play, Gonzalez. He gloves and throws the first wildly. The ball gets away and goes into shallow right field. Smith comes in to score, and now it's four to two. Rieselman trying to bun his way out of a slump. Here's the one-two. Swung on, lined into left to base hit on a hanging breaking ball. Heading to third is Rieselman. Bolger plays it back in, and the Panthers have runners on the corners. The 1-0 pitch, here it is. And a bunt back toward the mound, charging McIlvain. He bobbles the ball and has no play. Rieselman comes in to score. And it's a one-run game. Hilton gets to second, working for the second time this year. Here's a swing and a line drive into right center. That's down for a base hit. Bradfield plays it back in. And they're loaded now. A single by Puckett. And these Panthers are just not going away. Garrett ready, the pitch. Swung on, cue shot right side. Gloved wide of first by Keegan. He'll go to the bag himself and touch the cushion for the out. But this game is tied. A run scoring ground out by Will Mize. Brings home Kyle Hilton. Now ready again. Ahead 0-2. The pitch to Cheney. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Went back to that same pitch. The slider cutter away. And he got him to end the inning. Here's the 3-1. Swung on drilled in the air. High and deep to left field. Back is Smith. On the track. At the wall. It is gone. Carter Young with a home run to left. And the Commodores have retaken the lead. It just got out near the indentation where that barrier goes from about 10 feet up to about 25. Here's the stretch in the 3-2. And Keegan takes high ball four. So Dominic Keegan gets on base for the third time in four appearances today before they open up Sunbelt Conference play a little bit later. Here's the 3-2, inside ball four. Now the pause, the 0-1, and Thomas swings, and it's a bouncing ball to short. Glove there by Cheney. He goes to second for one, and that's all. The throw to first is not in time. It was a bounce throw dug out by Marejo. Tonight's game. Here's the 2-0 pitch, and it's swung on a bounce to short. It's glove there by Cheney to second for one, and on to first, a double play. The Panthers get exactly what they were looking for. Looking for his first save of the year. The pitch on the way. Swung on, Harp, ground ball to second. Taken by Colwick down to a knee, and he sidearms to first for out number one. Commodores by a run in the ninth. The one-two. Swing and a miss, strike three. He blitzed it by him at 96, and the Panthers are down to their final out. Gonzalez near the line at third. Murphy's 2-2 to Abood. And strike three called. Outside corner, got him looking at 96, and the Commodores win. Luke Murphy nails it down. He retires all six batters he faces, and the Commodores take game two and even the series.